Taurus, this reading will be for you. I hope you all are doing amazing. This will be general and it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. But if you have birth chart placements in Taurus or you are dealing with someone that does, this reading can resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. I do offer a channel membership where you can get access to all my extended readings. If you're interested, click the join button below where you can find more information about joining in the description box. You can also find information about private readings there. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. So, Taurus. What does my Taurus collective need to know? We have the Four of Wands. We have the, okay, the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Judgment card, Scorpio Energy. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Wands in reverse. Clarify the Four of Wands, the Page of Swords in reverse. Clarify the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Two of Cups. Clarify Judgment, the Hermit, Virgo Energy. Think about the Eight of Swords, the Knight of Swords in reverse. And we have the Queen of Cups on the back of the deck. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio Energy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Um, what is this? Okay, where does Taurus fit into this? Somebody could have been fine. Somebody could have found out that somebody didn't really love them. Like somebody was just manipulating them, making it seem like they cared, making it seem like they loved them, but they were actually being manipulative and deceitful. But the truth has been revealed about that. But it may have taken somebody a long time to be able to see that. It's like somebody that they thought had good intentions. This could be even somebody you were dealing with. It's like somebody is realizing that somebody that they thought loved them or had good intentions for them, it was actually manipulation or that person had bad intentions for them. Um, what is the four? What is all this? The four of wands, the ten of cups, reverse, the page of swords, justice. Okay. And the Page of Cups in reverse. Somebody is saying that they want to commit to you or something like that. Somebody's coming in and saying they want to make things right. They want something balanced with you. They're coming in to make things right with you. And they're saying they want to settle down. They want commitment. They want marriage. They want family. They want stability. You guys are either not accepting this person's apology or you don't believe this person's apology. What is the, why, what's the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Two of Cups? The Nine of, you don't think that, mm, what is the what is the nine of swords? The six you feel like this person has another situation that they haven't moved on from. Or maybe you don't think that the sit things between the two of you can get better. Yeah, I feel like you you either you don't feel like you and this person can have a successful connection, or you don't it's like you don't think things it's like stressing you out. Like you don't think that you'll ever be able to like have peace dealing with this person. Like you feel like you will always have anxiety. You feel like you will always be losing sleep. You will always be paranoid. You don't believe that this person is actually ready to cultivate something stable and committed. And even if they were ready, I feel like you question your ability to uh, To trust this person or like you just you don't have a lot of faith in whoever this is but this is somebody that is wanting another chance what is the hermit in reverse though i don't like that that doesn't look good the lovers in reverse gemini energy so what is what is, what's going to happen here the knight of wands 
And they, somebody feels like they have to hurry up and do something here. They have to hurry up and... <clears throat> I saw it upright first, but... Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Somebody feels like they need to rush into a commitment with you or they have to hurry up and offer you a commitment. They may, with the Hermit in Reverse, they still have, gotta have some healing to do. They still have some healing, uh, some intro... Like, they still have some more work to do. But somebody kind of feels like they have to do something, like, now. Like... Even if they're not 100% ready, maybe they feel like they'll never be ready all the way. You know, we we normally aren't. We're, we're never 100% ready for things, usually. And it's almost like whoever this person is, is like, they feel like they got to make a decision. They don't feel like they're 100% ready or healed or like they're still working through some stuff. But it's like, they're really stressed out. They feel like they have to hurry up and offer you something. So tell me more. We have the seven. Yeah, they feel like they have to hurry up and make a long-term investment in you. Yeah, reach out. What about the three of cups, though? Doubt, secrets. Are they hiding something about a third party? Hidden motives. What about this three of cups in the high priest in reverse? You guys found out about a third party, possibly. Maybe they feel like there needs to be some clarity about a third party situation. Like they need to clear something up or they need to be honest with you about something. Something needs to come to light here. Because it's been causing a lot of conflict or it's going to continue to cause a lot of conflict. Yeah, so I feel like they feel they need to clear something up about another person. Queen of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. No, it's almost like somebody feels very attracted. They're very clear that they want to come towards you and offer you something solid and make amends with you. What is the conflict about? Um, They're just like internally conflicted. It could also be pessimism. Them feeling pessimistic. That maybe... What about the um, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Swords, and the Devil, Capricorn energy, and the the Tower. Ooh, I feel like this person just is worried that it's just a done deal. Like it's irreparable. You're done. You've had enough. There's no. You won't be giving them any more chances. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles in reverse one more time. We have the here font, Taurus energy. Yes, that's you then, the fool. The fool and the, the temperance card. Somebody feels like they need to take a leap of faith. I don't, I don't, I think that they've been very conflicted about doing this at this moment. Like they don't feel like 100% ready for this. Whatever they're coming in to offer you, I can't tell you that they feel like 100% like they're ready for it. It's like they feel like they have to, like they know that they want to give it to you. They just maybe, they feel like they're not 100% to be that for you yet or like, it's like they don't know what the outcome is going to be. Like they're just not 100% sure that they can maintain that or that it's going to work out right now. It's like something is making this person feel like they're not ready. Why do they feel like they're not 100% ready or what's feel, what's making them feel like a little hesitant here? Or what's, we have the high priest in reverse again. They just have doubts. It's really just doubts. Tell me more. The high priest in in the hair font. Ooh, and the, temp, the same cards are coming out. Okay, give me one more. The moon in reverse. See, there's something that came to light here. There's a truth that's been revealed. Pisces energy. They, that's causing some type of delay or some type. Mm. This person just doesn't feel like you'll believe them. So what do they think that they would, how do they think they need to approach you for you to believe them? Uh, not in the queen. Of, oh, the, what? the three, the seven of cups and the wheel of fortune. Okay. What about the wheel of fortune? The, how, how are they planning to turn this around or how were they thinking they were going to the eight of cups? And they're walking away from somebody that's not... They know that to be able to make something right with you, they're going to have to walk away from something else. So have they walked away from this person or no? Have they walked away from them? Mm. So is this person trying to come towards you? And I don't think that they've walked away from this person. That's the problem. They still have a lot of burdens. Wow. Here we go with this. And you know, guys, when I was... You know, just as I'm rearranging my de my desk and stuff like that, I just kind of picked up this this big old chunky deck that I have over here. And the first card when I picked it up was Time Interference. And that is talking about a third. Like, I already knew. I should have just taken that card out of the deck. Whenever I see a card and I'm really drawn to it, that's a message. And I just picked up that deck and I saw Time Interference. And I was like, dang, it's already going to be a third party reading. 
So this is what's going on here. You have somebody that's coming towards you. Their goal is to be with you. Their goal is to marry you. Their goal is to settle down with you. They have their sights set on that. Do they feel 100% like they're ready? No. Do they also know that to be with you, they're going to have to walk away from somebody else? Yes. Have they done it yet? No. Are they working on it? Nah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me get one more. Eight of Because I don't like the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. What are the Eight of Pentacles in reverse? The Queen of Swords in reverse. And the Knight of Pentacles. So what I think is going on here. Remember what I said at the very beginning of this reading that there's somebody around this person that they thought loved them and cared about them and that had good intentions for them that they're actually finding out is actually very manipulative and deceitful. It was actually this card right here, the Queen of Swords. There's somebody that's been manipulating this person and making them like it's kind of been slowing them down, creating obstacles for them. Like, I don't know what this person's saying to them, but they're manipulating them in some way or there's something there's there's something that this person is doing to spite them, blackmail them. There's and that's why they've been moving very slowly. I don't I wouldn't say that they haven't been making any progress, but they've been making very slow. It's been slower than it would would normally be because of whoever this feminine energy is that they have around them. For some of you it's their mother. I'm going to be honest. For some of you it's their mom. That's manipulating them. Why is this person doing this? Why is this person doing this? But I think this person is starting to see that this person does not have good intentions for them. Look, the devil. They're toxic. They have like a toxic attachment with this person. Addictions. They're, they could be abusive. Wow. It could be for finding some type of greedy, toxic reason. Money. It, ooh. You know what it is, guys? I really hope that this, this is not... Because like this doesn't make any sense. If It's kind of not feeling romantic. For some of you, it is a romantic person. Or somebody that's a friend or is posing as a friend. For a lot of you, this is their mom. Mm -hmm. This is their mother that's jealous of you or jealous of the connection that they have with you or they don't want to lose their their baby. They don't want to lose their child. They don't want to lose their son, their daughter, whatever. 12-12 on the camera as I was saying that. So confirmation. So somebody has um a mommy dearest here. Yeah, I really feel like this is someone's mother. It doesn't have to be. Take out resonates. But for a lot of you, this is their mom. And they have a very manipulative mom, a very spiteful mom, a very cruel mom, a very abusive mom, okay? A very bitter one. And this person is like kind of either obsessed with their child, has a toxic, weird relationship with their child. Something was weird here. Yeah, I feel like this person is trying to keep with the Page of Cups in reverse. This person, whoever this Queen of Swords is, is trying to keep this person small, keep them feeling insecure. Wow. But I think that this person is starting to realize that this person is toxic and that this person has been manipulating them. So I do feel like this person, um, it's like they've been slowly like reprogramming. Especially if this is was their, their parent and they've been raised like this since birth. It's like they're slowly kind of like removing themselves from the grip of a, of a very overbearing toxic parent. Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Death. So this person feels like they're going to have to cut off their mom or something. Somebody that's close to them. They know they're going to have to cut off either a mom, a, mo a sister, or some, there's somebody, I feel like for a lot of you, it's family. They know they're going to have to walk, cut off somebody. They know that their mom or whoever this feminine energy is, is never going to really like let them live in peace. That's why it's been so hard for this person to make this decision, guys, because it's not just like a girl. It's not a girl. I mean, even if it was, you know, it's their their family. It's their mother. Freaking here we go. I think I mentioned this in one of my readings like a, a month ago or three weeks ago. This Norman Bates. You guys dealing with the Norman Bates over here? Because, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Um. Wow, their mom is jealous of you or whoever their sister their mom definitely looks like a feminine energy
Ooh, so for some of you it is a it could be romantic you may think you found the one but they could they wouldn't cause you so much stress if they were wake up and realize our connection is the real deal tell me about false flame chaser feels unwanted i was just so again for some of you this is this is their mother i mean there could be a karmic like a, a, a romantic interest in the mix as well but i was just thinking in my head that this person has been chasing after their their parents their mom their dad whoever this is to love them so Feels unwanted and self blames feeling pain and hopelessness in a confusing situation, feeling empty and lost without twin soul experiences, dark night of the soul. So tell me more. If you are feeling under duress or feeling solemn, I feel it too. When you are thinking of me, I'm thinking of you too. Our connection is deep and profound and sometimes difficult to understand. Okay. F see? Family ties takes each other for granted, stops learning from one another, stuck spiritually, helps each other grow, not only as individuals, but also as spiritual beings. I feel like this person has been keeping you at an arm's length to make their mom happy or their family happy. It's, somebody, it's like, it's weird. It's like this person, somebody's really desperate for their, their approval of their parent, their mom, their dad, whoever this is. And I feel like they know that their parent doesn't approve of you or won't, doesn't want the two of you together. So I think that they've, they've not really known what to do when it comes to you, but they definitely have a great need or like desire to make this, whoever this person is happy to make that person proud. Um, I don't know if this, whoever this jealous person is, has been trying to make this, per, your per, this person you've been dealing with, make them feel like you're not the real, like their person or, but yeah, they're definitely going through the dark night of the soul. I'm fighting my demons and re-examining my actions. It is life altering and also extremely painful. At times I fight against these changes, but I know it must happen for me to evolve. And we have free will independently. See, they want to act on their free will. Like, I don't know if this person, this, they have a very controlling person around them. Having the capacity to make their own decisions without constraints from others. Yeah, destiny. I am understanding our relationship. I feel like this person choosing you is like, I won't say it's like the first big decision that they ever made, but it's like the first one. I want to say conscious, like where they really have thought it out and they really feel like this is in alignment with their desires and their wants. And like, I feel like you're like choosing to be with you and choosing to, to break away, you know, to be defiant or defy what this parent or whoever this feminine energy wants them to do is like, it's, it's big for this person. What I once thought was trivial because they had somebody telling them that it was trivial was something more on a higher consciousness. I couldn't understand it then, but I do now. And we have unsent messages. So I think this person has been trying to work up the courage to reach out to you. Yeah, they're surrendering. I really want to tell you how I feel, but is it too late? Will you understand? Yeah, didn't, I think I touched on that. This person's worried that you're just done, done with them. Now they're starting to understand this connection. Now they're starting to not care what this mom or this, whoever this person is, they don't care what this person thinks anymore. And um, they they want to do what makes them happy. They want to make a decision for themselves. But now they're afraid that it's just too late or you won't hear them out. You'll take something the wrong way. Um, I do think that they want, maybe want to tell you the truth about something. It says, I'm ready to surrender myself to our connection. I will no longer run away from it. And I will no longer deny it. I'm trusting in the universe and our love for one another. So they were putting their trust in somebody that they shouldn't have been putting their trust into. D guys, I can't make it make it up. Confirmation. You see what this card says here? It says more concerned with what people think of them and their status in life. I'm telling you. Money could have also been a factor. Obsessively focused on money or cares deeply about owning luxury goods. Yeah, so it, mm, see, it could be a Libra because we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. It could be a Libra that um they were trying to, they're worried about a Libra's opinion of them but if that's going to be for only some of you we have visionary feeling hopeful and empowered thinking positively moving forward beginning to think about or planning the future with imagination or wisdom so this person's starting to think about what they want for themselves and the life that they want and they're going after it and they don't care what anybody else thinks about it they're like no i gotta live my life for me not for anybody else but me i deserve to be happy and i know what makes me happy it may not be what you want with, for me but yeah yeah, we do have third party situation and karmic partners. They could have, if there is a, a, a romantic interest in the mix, they chose somebody that whoever this, this feminine energy, this queen of swords right first wanted them to be with. 
and they're not happy there. Cause, and I knew inner child healing was going to come out. This person's healing their inner child because they, they have like mommy mother wounds. They have deep mother wounds. Yeah. I, I definitely feel like they just have like this need to want to like make their mom happy or their dad happy or whatever this is. So they chose to settle with somebody who they didn't really even like. Maybe that's who, I don't know, that's who their their mother or their father wanted them to be with because I did see settling when I was shuffling my cards. So yeah, I think that this person was torn between who, what, everybody, whoever, whoever, I can't talk, who everyone else wanted them to be with and who they truly wanted to be with. And I think that for a while they were choosing somebody over you because that's what these people or this person wanted for them, but they're not happy there. And they're like, no, I'm not gonna keep. I'm not gonna stay with somebody for money, and because my mom wants me to be with that person, I don't. Ha I don't like them like that. Like, but that's how they've been living their life for a while now, guys. And I feel like this is they're realizing that they were doing this to get their mom or their dad to love them or to be proud of them or to make their mom or dad happy. But we have it says going inside to explore our authentic feelings and parts of us that may have been rejected and labeled as inappropriate or too much by others especially by our caregivers it's almost like they have a parent that that makes their needs the priority so like they have a parent that wants them to disregard their wants and needs to make them happy to make them feel happy and fulfilled and content which is crazy okay so i feel like they've been raised to not really they, they're not allowed to feel they're not allowed to do what's in their best interest they got to do what's in the best interest of their mother or their father or whoever this is their sister i don't know who it is Look, gluttonous gossip, unable to control and has an overwhelming need to share false or misleading info, overindulging and overconsumption of personal narratives that may or may not be true. So, yeah. and right after that, odious opinions. You're, somebody was telling them that you're not, you're, you're not the one and your connection wasn't real. You don't love them. It says unrelatable and unsympathetic advice, easily influenced by others and their viewpoints, unpleasant opinions, creating doubt and denial of the connection. Yep. But we have spring time here. Juggling, yeah, watching you. Be careful. They may try to come towards you and juggle you guys. They still haven't let this third party go. They know that they're not happy with that person. They've been keeping tabs on you. They're in turmoil with this person. They're getting all the signs and synchronicities that you are their person and that they're supposed to come towards you. I don't, and they know that time is running out. So yeah, this is messy. This, yeah, this, this got messy fast. So I am going to take this over to the extended reading uh, to take a deeper look at the situation. Um, the link will be in the description box or you can join my channel to get access to all my extended readings. Private reading information can also be found in the description box. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram, um, Facebook, Facebook and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys um, have a good rest of your day and I will see you in the extended reading. Bye.